Our collection of George Lopez wood carvings is very special. George Lopez was born on April 23, 1900 in the village of Cordova, situated in a small valley of the Sangre de Cristo mountain range north of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Cordova, one of the early Spanish settlements dating from the 16th century, has become widely known throughout the United States and Europe for its tradition of religious wood carving. Lopez grew up in the fervent Catholicism of the region, and as a boy, he watched his father, Jose Dolores Lopez, carving Santos in the manner he had learned from earlier generations of the Lopez family. Santos, literally saints in Spanish, include not only images of saints, but apparitions of the Virgin Mary, depictions of the life of Christ and other religious scenes, Bible stories, and characters. The craft of the Santero arose from the Counter-Reformation in Spain and the work there of its greatest artists, El Greco, Velázquez, and Murillo. These painters were at the peak of their careers when New Mexico was settled, and copies of their oil paintings were brought to the New World. Then, after indigenous Indians destroyed many of these models during the Pueblo Rebellion of 1680, a folk art emerged that depicted in wood carvings the effigies of Catholic saints. Although Lopez liked whittling as a boy, he did not pursue a career as a santero until later in life. It was while working for Union Pacific Railroad that during the long lonely nights in camps between jobs, he started making small figurines similar to the ones he'd seen his father and grandfather make. By 1952, he decided to devote himself full-time to wood carving, working mostly with a penknife, a handsaw, and sandpaper he was able to produce a simple figure in about an hour. Other figures took several weeks or months to finish. George, like many members of his family, continued the Santo carving style of his father. Although George remained faithful to the style of unpainted carving originated by Jose, now called the Cordova style, he expanded his father's repertoire of religious figures to include animals, trees, candlesticks, and storage chests, among other things. Lopez was a sixth-generation Santero and had no children, but he passed on his skills to his nieces and nephews. The library owns 18 of George Lopez's beautiful cottonwood and cedar carvings. They were a gift from John Harvey, who, after much consideration, chose the library as the beneficiary of his collection, rather than the Smithsonian Museum, simply because he thought they would be more accessible here for viewing and study. George Lopez is special for several reasons. He was awarded the National Heritage Fellowship, which is a lifetime honor presented to master folk and traditional artists by the National Endowment for the Arts. It is the United States' highest honor in the folk and traditional arts, and a one-time only award. But more importantly, by having these pieces available for research and enjoyment, you have immediate access to part of our nation's important cultural heritage and to one of our country's greatest folk artists.